on, everybody? It's your boy, John, the Gamer Gear here. Wow, okay, that was an intro. Welcome and you back to Sogalog Johto version. Uh, yes, queens and kings, we're out here. Anyway, hopefully y'all have a wonderful day. I don't know why I just went to the Pokemon Center, but I did. So we're gonna heal up, we're gonna do everything. We're gonna get, uh, I think, one, two encounters. We're gonna get the item that we missed in the last episode because, you know, I purposely skipped it so I didn't start my Nuzlocke early. Yas! Um, but yeah, today's been a kind of interesting day so far. So first things first, I had a, uh, I had a finale drop over on Aaron's channel. On top of that, I had a, two finals that I've taken already today, which is just already hype. Uh, two finals, kind of a lot to be honest, but we we out here we taken those. Um, and then on top of that, um, you know, we have this. So I've got to do some recording, and then I've got some projects. Like it's finals week, y'all, and finals week is called stress week for a reason because oh my god, finals. Um, although you know, I stress over like the stupidest things ever because. I legit have a n okay actually funny story about this class so in my uh, IT class right in the beginning of the quarter he goes I'm gonna take away your worst quiz your worst exam and your worst lab and so it's one one and one and it's like okay that makes sense I mean give you a little bit of forgiveness no <laughs> no 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 he took away like half of the class content <laughs> like wait huh <laughs> So there's 14 quizzes and exams. Um, he took away <laughs> he took away three of them, um, and then there's five labs. He took away four, and I'm like, okay then. Um, so yeah, most of the class content <laughs> just didn't count. Yay for trash encounters! I'm totally not catching this. I am. I'm literally just gonna run because I just don't care about it. I don't care about Iggly Buff at all. I know that's gonna upset Gwen a little bit. But it's an Iggly buff, and uh, bye. I do not want to train up something for friendship, uh, especially because we have static team rule. Um, and the last thing I need is the static Iggly buff just sitting on the team doing absolutely nothing. I am okay with foregoing this encounter, um, especially because I know that there's some awesome diamonds in the rough in the next next uh, area. And with my luck, it would take me like eight freaking Pokeballs to catch an Iggly buff, and we're not about that life. So. Let's go ahead and go to the next route, do our thing. We're only level five, which is a little sketch, but it is what we have. It is what we have to work with. So our encounter on this route is going to be joy, 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 joy. Oh no, it's not joy, but it's a, it's a Raikou. Oh my God. Okay. Yes. Uh, can we catch you? Can we catch you? I'm going to actually amnesia because it's going to make it so that we are very, 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 um, what's it called? Very bulky on the special side. This should probably do no damage. Hopefully we get a paralysis at some point. Of course you have headbutt. Wait, we've got barrier. We can even, we can continue our bulk. <laughs> I forget that Tarant literally is just here to like take hits, deal whatever damage it needs to, and just take one damage from every single hit. Um... I casually forget that sometimes. But anyway, we're going to Thundershock this. Hopefully, we've got a paralysis at some point. I think we can. And I think the entire episode is going to be dedicated to catching this one Raikou. Because it's a Raikou. It's power. It's a god. And yeah. So, I think we can do this. And I am A-OK -okay with destroying this Raikou. We're not going to get a paralysis because it's my luck. Even though it's like 30% chance. But, because you can paralyze a, uh, 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 um... An electric type in this game. Uh, I think it was Generation 3 that they took that away. I'm opening it up an energy drink, okay? It's the United Energy Drink called Purple Haze. Which is basically just a grape energy drink. But it's good and I like it, so whatever. It's actually pro I, I don't know, it's one of the best of that grouping. I don't know if I'm going to hit it one more time. I'm going to. It should live one more. Tarot! Woo! Nelly! Oh, you're gonna get a talking to after that one. It, it, it lived a non crit, by the way. It lived the non crit. It lived one. It, it would have lived it. But I mean, to be fair, would I have caught it? Probably not. 
so I mean it saved a lot of time in the episode so I guess I can't be too mad about that it lets me go through Johto faster but it's still unfortunate because god that was a powerful Pokemon literally the one time a crit would have killed was that time and it's the one time that Toronto's gonna get a crit because why else so I don't know did I just heal for nothing I totally did just heal for nothing it's fine. It's okay. I mean, it, luckily, it did give Toronto a good amount of experience, though. It was a whole level. And we're gonna need that, so. Can't be too mad. I can be upset, but not mad. Also, I forgot an item in this area, supposedly, but I don't see where I would have forgotten it. Unless it's in here, but I don't think so. Oh, uh, I guess I missed this. I don't see where that's important, but... Oh, I guess no, because if you go up, isn't there an item up there? I believe there is, actually. No. Where did I miss it? It must have been a hidden item. I'm terrible at noticing hidden items. So that, I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, I don't know who we want to leave. Because our team is actually really good. And I don't want to make the team, like, objectively worse by losing Mont. Ooh. Oh, wait, you're poison. We're fine. We have Psychic. Yeah, Tarot kind of assumes this lead role because... And it makes sense, but also I know that Tarot has the potential of not being able to kill things. That's two levels. <laughs> oh. That's three levels? What? <laughs> okay, then. I guess that was three levels. Um... Toronto, you're gonna have to chill real quick, buddy. I'm gonna put Mega on the front. Because there's no abilities, so it, like, dang, Tarot be gaining levels like nobody's business, apparently. And yeah, so we're gonna put our Charizard in the our Char Man Melian in the front. I'm really struggling today, if you guys can't tell. Uh, exams just make the brain. Alright, this game is powerful, and I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> um, yikes. Oh. Uh, act, what's safest play? I need, to, I need to figure out what safest play is. Uh, 13, obviously Mega, you're not safest play. 13... Wow, Aaron's actually got a good amount of special defense on him. I actually think Aaron becomes safest play. We're gonna use it. Okay. Wait, like... Aaron's got Earthquake, so I feel like Aaron can bust a bunch of damage off, whereas Tarot can't. And... Obviously, getting Aaron some levels is gonna be helpful. Let's hope that my analysis was correct. Perfect. And Mega gets some levels as well, so we'll take that. Uh, the next mod is a Doduo. I'm gonna go ahead and Tron on that. Aaron really can't hit Doduos. That, that's Aaron's big weakness, is he can't really hit flying types. Which, I mean, you have to have a weakness. If you don't have a weakness, then you're not a Pokemon. So, it does make total sense, but... Whew, this game is really starting to pack a punch, and it's... I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't, because if we're already packing punches and throwing them, it's like, uh, how am I going to get better and how is it going to go, how is it going to get crazier? Because it's already been crazy enough. Um, although we get another encounter, not from her, I don't want to fight her. Right here is a new encounter. No, it's not. Yes, it is, because once you turn, it changes. Crobat! Let's go! The poison and flying type! You know? Because it's a poison and flying type, you know? Because there's none that totally exists at all. Oh, yes! Uh, I, I'm making fun of... If you guys didn't understand the joke, then y'all are sad. But if you did understand the joke, love y'all. Um... <sighs> okay. Also, I'm just deciding I'm gonna kill everybody's ears, apparently. Um, who's the best candidate to go into? 
don't know. It's level five, which means I, I feel like it can take a Thundershock. Tara, if you crit another thing, you're going to the grave, okay? I'm sending you to the grave if you crit something. Uh, I'm totally joking. I love Tara, but it would make me so upset if I didn't catch this because of a simple crit. Now, if I miscalking, that's my fault, but I don't think I'm miscalking. It should live. Tarot! Stop gritting! Thank you for Oh! Again! Oh my god. Stop gritting. Why? You're trying to learn teleport? No. I mean, maybe I should teach it over Thundershock because you crit two god tier encounters due to it. Also, that was a new encounter, so I'm glad I caught it. And we got some berry juice. Oh my god, Tarrant. Oh! Also, I'm actually going to equip the berry juice. Because it actually is helpful. I'm going to give that to... Hmm. I think it actually is going to help B the most. So I'm going to let B hold it. Oh my gosh. I haven't even gotten to use a single Pokeball yet. That's an item if I can... Oh, I can't even reach it. Our encounter in the dark cave is a Shuckle! Yay! That's gonna be a static one on our team. I actually like Shuckles, so to be fair, I'm not mad at all. Um, and I can actually use a Mega on it. Fire Punch. Shuckle, you're not supposed to do that much damage. I don't know where in the world you learned how to take and deal that much damage, but I, I don't like that. <laughs> Wherever you learned that, um, yeah, please don't ever again. What? How? You are a shuckle. You are a shuckle. You have five base attack and you are doing this much damage? I mean, it might be because Charizard's frail, but even then, like, or I guess it wouldn't be Charizard. That's, I mean, it was super effective, but Twin Needle wasn't, and it still did a lot of damage. Game Boy Luke. No. Because, I mean, look, Twin, uh, I guess it's doing four, but, or five, which is a lot for uh, something that's got a four level disparity. So... I'm definitely nervous. I guess I'll send in B. B has a, a, a berry juice on her. So, I don't know why this is berry juice, but okay. Uh, oh, it got the Omni Boost. To be fair, strength is going to do nothing. So... Oh, that Omni Boost sucks. Ah! Oh, really gonna hit me with the poison now, too? God, B, if you crit, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, good. Hurt by poison, hurt by whatever move. Oh no, Berry Juice comes into play. Okay. And then now I hopefully can catch the shock. Game Boy Luke. Thank you. Thank you, Shuckle. So, you're gonna be on the team. Which, I mean, hey, that's cool. We got a Gen 2 Mon. I'm gonna name you... Shuckalina. No, that's terrible. It's so terrible, it actually sounds good. <sighs> Chuckalina is on the team, of course. I gotta look at Chuckalina's stats too, because that just doesn't 
feel like Shuckalina should have done that much damage. The Quick Claw. Why did you have the best item for you? Let's go, Shuckalina! I'm gonna put that back right on you. <laughs> That's going right back on Shuckalina. Hold on. Why did Shuckalina have the <laughs> We love you, Shuckalina. Having the best thing for you. Yeah, no. You're, it's it's randomized. It's it's correct. Shuckalina just wanted to just be a powerhouse. Which, I guess if Shuckalina wants to be a powerhouse, we'll let her be a powerhouse. Because women can be powerhouses too. Um, let's see. Steel Wing. Can somebody actually learn that? Because I would love that. Aaron can. Um, act a B can as well. But I think Aaron learning it's going to be the best. Buffs up defense stats. Um, and Aaron's a physical attacker anyway, so bye Thrash. I don't like Thrash. I don't like moves that can confuse. Aaron, have fun with Steel Wing, um, because we appreciate you. Um, and then we're going to actually potion up. We're going to potion up Aaron. And then I believe we're going to keep the two potions just in case B has a problem. A well, B definitely won't have a problem anymore. Perfect. Skip, skip the trainer. We did a good job. Um, why are these encounters so crazy? Oh no. That is a sky attack? Toronto, get out here. I believe you can take that. Sky Tiger my ho oh, why? Toronto just dodges it. You know, he <laughs> Toronto be like, what do you mean? I can totally take that. I'm just gonna dodge it real quick. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't even know what I wanna do. I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna actually have a longer episode. Because I feel like it. Um, plus, I feel like it won't take me that long to get through the thing I want to get through. And yeah, because then I go pick up my mother, and then we have a. Then I edit this episode, and while I am taking, or I edit this episode, let it render while I finish my final final. My fi that sounds great. My final final, and then when I take my final final, I will. Um, Post upload the video, and then after I upload the video, then I honestly don't know what to do from there. Um, but we're gonna get an encounter in here too, so I should probably prep for that a little bit better. I mean, we have like 12 Pokeballs, we're fine. I don't know why I'm like, oh god, I needed to prep better because like my prepping was so bad. It's like, no, your prepping's fine, John. Encounter rates are really bad, and look, you just got a great ball. Everything's fine, uh, don't freak out. Also, you don't have to manage your bag as badly in this game. So, uh, yeah, you're a-okay. Um, also, like I said, I want to get Charizard up there. Or, I keep calling it Charizard. It's okay. It's a mega Charizard. We're fine. Um, but, yeah. And we got Shuckle. And Shuckle's a cutie. And, uh, yeah. If you guys vote out Shuckle. If you guys kill Shuckle, whoo, you're going to be in a world of hurt. I'm going to be so upset. It's gonna make me so mad when you kill Shuckle. And I say win because I know it's a win. I understand it's going to happen. I gotta prepare myself. But I love Shuckalina, okay? Don't take Shuckalina away from me too soon, okay? I know in four episodes you guys can take one away, or you can take her away, but. Oh, that's right! I can actually use pronouns because they exist now! I used to call everything they or them <coughs> because. In Gen 1, there was no pronouns, so they and them works. But now I can go he and she and they as well, and it'll be awesome. Okay, Aerodactyl. I'm actually super excited that I can do that. Why am I so excited about that? I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. I like to be prim and proper about those things, and it is what it is, okay? Like, I'm going to destroy the heck out of this Aerodactyl, because he needs to go. Um... So, uh, yeah, like I said, don't know why, but, you know, here we are. Um, welcome to 2021. Tentacruel, yes, we can wreck this thing, too. Uh, dude, Tehran is going to die first. It's, it's, 
I'm making it like so obvious that he's gonna die first by using it in every situation. Like I really should be switch training, but no, no, no. Here I am getting myself prepared to destroy whatever his name is, Faulkner. Um, but I'm like not trying to do that. Max Repel. Oh, that's actually really useful. Um, also, I want to just say thank you to Joy so very much because Joy's verses made me realize how freaking ridiculous the runes of Alpha is. So all I need to go do is get an encounter there. Um, Arbog. Look at that. Actually, I can use Aaron for that. So that's fine. I could probably use Mega for that too. But like, no, I really don't want to. Also, I love the fact that we have a defensive wall because, okay, if y'all know my playstyle, I love defensive walls. Defensive walls are my favorite thing to deal with and have. So because of that, having a defensive wall already is so useful. So obviously we're gonna, I think we're actually pretty close to on par with Faulkner. So I don't have to train up, which is gonna be the beauty of this game is not having to, um, to train up. Oh my God, we just got sunny day, let's go. Is not having to have a grinding session. Unless somebody dies. Y'all know the rule. I'm not even going to say the rule. Y'all should write the rule in the comment section below with Gyaradoses because we got Tara and Tara's about to blow this thing out of the water. So, but yeah, you guys get to see, like, we have two defensive walls. Actually, actually, I can even say that. We have two defensive walls. We don't even have just one. We have two of them. And it's really going to be nice because, of course, you're going to kill one of them. It's Pro I, I, like, I'm like 85% sure you're killing one of them. Um, and B's just out here on the team being useless. She, I feel like B's the one. I feel like out of all the Pokemon, B's gonna be the one that literally lasts from generation one to the end. Like, <laughs> I hate saying it, but I feel like B's gonna just stay here, stay alive, do her thing. <laughs> She'll be the longest lasting member of the team. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's hilarious. Now that I think about it, it's actually so true. Because she just sits there and does nothing. Hey, we got a slowpoke tail. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I, I know it's like the main thing the bad guys use, which means it's not a good thing. But you know, it's just, I don't know how much money it actually sells for. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Toronto actually talked to me about that instead of sold for 4,800. Somebody talked to me about having that as a random item and it sell, sold for quite a bit so hopefully I'm not wrong in the fact that Toronto it was Toronto that said it but it, it, it just feels like it's something Toronto would tell me and that's the solar beam so bye Chikorita have a wonderful day we love y'all I love Chikorita it just kind of got put in the wrong generation and because it doesn't shine it doesn't shine and I think what was supposed like it would have been cooler if we had the special attacker, the physical attacker, and the uh, and the balanced mon, um, and the balanced defender. But we really didn't get that because even though Cyndaquil is a physical or special attacker, like the water type is special too. So like, it just if it would have been in Gen Four, and we would have had Grottle or Turtwig here instead, I actually feel like it would have been better because. I almost used Fire Punch because it was physical. Speaking of the physical special split, um, okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get Aaron out here. Uh, but yeah, speaking of the physical special split, I almost did that. Um, but oh, <laughs> we pro played him. Um, but yeah, so because Turtwig at least can hit both specially and physically, and. What is just gonna do? Probably like 1800. Uh, no, but it's just, I don't know, it makes a big difference when it this water type just doesn't work at, like for what it's supposed to for, for alligator. So, Cyndaquil is just the best starter overall, technically, in this generation. And I don't like that because I, I don't really like, uh, I know, I have one on my team. Sorry, Mega, you should plug your ears. I really don't like fire starters that much. Honestly, I am a grass boy. I love my grass types. And you can't even, can't even like 
You won't get me to change that opinion. I love grass types, even though it's the worst type, or one of the worst types, but I love them, so, um, yeah. I love water types, too. Um, actually, I'm gonna start a new series here soon. Um, with, uh, show to, Showdown uh, Monotype Battles. And it's gonna be really fun to do, because I haven't done that yet. <clears throat> and, obviously, if it's a new series that hasn't been done before, it's a new series that I haven't done. I, I, I think it's been done before. Uh, but I haven't done my research yet, so, um... But basically, the idea was derived between, um... Ah! Stop with the crits in this episode! I... This, the amount of crits in this episode has just been insane. Also, I forget that Mega, like, literally levels up, like, the fastest thing in life. Togetic. Um, thanks, jo Jonas, for that pronunciation. Um, literally, he got that pronunciation stuck in my head. And it'll forever be ingrained in my head. It's a, not a fairy type yet. It's normal and flying, so to rot, you're fine. Um... But yeah, so, I don't, I just don't know. Like, the biggest thing, and the biggest thing is, I got it from Vinny and Dobbs, is, like, they did monotype battles versus each other. So, what I'm thinking about doing is going on the showdown ladder and using a team from every single type and seeing how it does, and comparative to everything else, blah, 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 blah statistical analysis, blah, 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 and doing, like, it like that and just showing how the benefits the positive is it for the positives and negatives of every single pokemon type because every single pokemon type has their strengths and weaknesses so like i was testing this concept out the other day and i was a water type because that's the, the the type i'm going through first because hashtag love you joy um joy is amazing if you guys don't know who joy is she is the best one of the best content creators who I can't say the best, because if I say the best, then, like, I'm being too objective. But anyway, she's one of my favorite content creators. And I just... She's so caring, nice, and literally will do anything <laughs> to uh, help you out. And she's, like, really just there for everyone, and I love that. Um, but on top of that, she's so smart. I just sometimes, I wish I could... Why do I feel like it's a Master Ball? Why? Why do I feel like it's a Master Ball? Um, 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 Is the park ball a master ball? Is a Pokeball which is only usable within the PAL park. It can catch Pokemon sent through the PAL park. Much like a master ball, the park ball never fails to catch a Pokemon. Um, I might have to test out this theory. Because we still haven't gotten our encounter here. Um, <laughs> um, wait, I should probably get my encounter here, actually, speaking of. Our encounter is a... A jump bluff. Do I really want to test this theory out on a jump bluff? Oh, heck no. Oh, heck no, we aren't testing this theory on a jump bluff. Um, although it's a water type, grass type fix my words because it's not a water type um it's a lovely grass type pokemon and that would be oh no we don't have a water type now i was like oh my god we have a water fire grass core yes and it's like no no john you don't you don't you, you don't you don't have that but we can wish about that but you're probably never gonna have that because you know chow will never let you my favorite grass type move you have my favorite grass type move oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my gosh i love that you have my favorite grass type move you are going to become, like, one of my favorite Pokemon. And I can already tell. Because you have my favorite Grass type move. You're a flying type. We were just about to talk about how flying types are really good. <sighs> B, <laughs> you would have been in a world of hurt if you would have created that. Be, be lucky. Because you were close. Close to getting, like, just royally, royally messed with, because, whoo. I'm actually going to use my Great Ball, though, because it's a jump plus and it's a really good. It, it, it actually is one of those, I think Hoppip has a really, like, low catch rate for some reason. I don't know why. So, 
No, you're not using our park ball. We're not using our master ball. Because if that is actually a master ball already, then holy crap. Why could we have gotten that sooner? Um, Mirror Move is going to fail though because... So you got Mirror Move and Giga Drain. I don't really like Mirror Move, but I will take the best scratch type move in the game. Um, 100% of the time. And, yeah, so I'm going to actually... I'm naming you Barry. Because you seem like such a Barry to me. And I'm actually going to be that guy and end this episode right here. Um, because we're 30 minutes in and I don't want to make it extend even further. But we're going to train up for this dude and Faulkner in the next episode. Hopefully you have a wonderful day. I love you all so very much. Keep up the amazing work y'all do. Love ya. Peace.